Okay, it's summertime and it's gonna get hot if I let that sun come up over them pine trees. So let's get on with it. Um, whatever this crap is, <laughs> Heineken, whatever, that's warmer I use. It's two and a half cc's or mill, milliliters the same thing per 10 pounds of weight. So you got 20 pound dog, he's only like five pounds of these, or five cc's of this. That's what I use for warmer. You're supposed to give that to them three days in a row uh, to have the full effect. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, I just generally give it to them once a month. Also, I'm gonna dip them. Y'all seen me dip them before? Yes, I think this makes like 16 gallons, this little bottle does. Just read the, just add the water it asked for, that's simple. Oh, the ivermectin. That is a once a month thing. When I found out old uh, Tripper had it, I started using it. So I've or had heartworms, I started using this. Now I've heard different stories about ivermectin. Um, one, you know, it's got two different measurements. It's got it's all, they've always got the hog measurement and the cattle measurement. Hogs is like a CC every 75 pounds for body weight and cows like for every 110 pounds. You get the idea. I guess the hogs a little more warm and needs a little more. Don't know. Either way, I always use a cattle measurement, 110. So for a beagle, for every 10 pounds of body weight, that's gonna be like 11 hundredths of a cc. See what I'm saying there? So for a beagle, literally like a fifth of a cc is usually plenty. Now most guys, ain't that precise most guys are just gonna go ahead and give them a whole half a cc which would be equivalent of basically 50 pounds of body weight 55 pounds of body weight regardless i heard now too many people do that for it not to be effective i know a lot of people give them half a cc and i talked to another guy he seemed fairly intelligent one time and he talked to a vet and uh, i think the overdose rate for this stuff is like 10 or 15 times so you'd have to give them 10 or 15 times the uh the dosage to have an effect or kill them with this or overdose with this so this is a good little cure all right here ivermectin is, is a wonderful thing um there's two ways of giving it most you're supposed to inject it between the skin and the meat between the shoulder blades you all know that lasts the 30 days or whatever you could also give it orally which is what i do i suppose they don't last long it only lasts like three or five days from what I've been told. If I'm wrong on any of this, y'all correct me. But anyways, I just give it to them orally. That way I ain't gotta keep swapping needles or whatever. I just use the same needle, draw it out, and just give each one of them a, you know, part of a CC there, whatever I think they need. So um, that's it, I do. Like I said, I use a needle to draw it out of the vial, but that's pretty much it. So let's get on with it. Now, usually it's easier to go ahead and run your dogs that way they're all loaded up when you get done they're all tarred and they're wore out they're not wanting to fight you as much if you got dogs that ain't well mannered and um you just kind of end it on a good note they ain't got the energy to fool with you as much so they're easier to take their medicine and they're all piled up you're just taking them out doing what you gotta do put them in a pen um i'm not running them today like i say it's supposed to be like hot you know we're talking like heat index of like 108 degrees so yay trying to avoid that but let's get on with it oh sooner sooner hey old boy you came right up front and center didn't you come on old sooner good dog up, 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 up. there you go man Abby come here girl good girl Alrighty, up, 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 up. Oh, good girl. How about old smoke? Good smoke. Good smoke. Oh, blue dog, I guess you win this time. Hey, lighter, come here. Come on, come on. Good dog. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Up, 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 up. There you go. There you go. 
blessed girl. On another note, I'm sure it's better if I had a container designed for this. Hey, kitty. But uh, basically, I just I time it out just right to where once a month my dog food runs out dry, and then I use that as a container to dip my dogs in. Um, it don't seem to affect anything, so I'm gonna keep doing it. But either way, just an efficient little tip. Like it's probably better to have two different containers for two different jobs. But uh, here we go. It ain't gonna look that pretty here in a little bit. Okay, it ain't gonna look that pretty here in a little bit. All right, give me somebody. Somebody, come on. How about you, blue dog? You gonna come out? Well, come on. You ain't been a part of this too many times, have you? Easy old dog. Easy. Some of that. There you go. There you go. You didn't do too bad. You didn't do too bad. One thing I don't like about paying a cur, you gotta use so dang much of it. It ain't even funny. Really more than what a, a dog's mouthful really is, if you ask me. Now, I know some people will take it and, um, Anyway, some people take it, like mix it up with a vitamin, mix it up in some meat or something, some whatever, and the dog's more willing then, but, you know. And I may look into some of that. What do you think? You think it'd be better, old dog? Think I need to get to find something you actually like? Hmm. Yep, let's get you dipped. Come here, old girl, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't very willing, are you? It's gonna happen now. I'm sorry, old girl. Is you gonna hate the next part? Hey, hey. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There you go, girl. Your old fat thing woman's been feeding you too much. Good Lord. Yep, let's get you dipped. Good girl. Good smoke, very good. Very good old dog. Come now you like to freak out a little more and that's okay. That's just your nature. You're gonna be fine. Yo big eared thing you yo big eared thing you you gonna be just fine. It's okay. Let's try to put this in the corner. Put you about that much. How about that? Now that was easy. Now here comes the freaking out part. You ready? Me neither. Me neither. Here we go, though. 
this in the counter. And you're a little bit fatter of a dog, so you're gonna need a little more. Okay. Now you done good. You done good. I'm surprised and I'm proud of you. That's a good puppy. That's a good puppy. Yeah. Well, if you don't freak out over the dip and uh that's gonna be a miracle. Ready? No, you didn't. Nope. Yeah, you're freaking out a little. That's okay. Good smoke. Good smoke. Y'all, that's the easiest he's ever done that. I am shocked. All right. How about later? You want to come on out? Hey, not you, hooker. Come on, later. Come on, later. Come on. Good dog. Come on. Good later. Come here. Come on. Come on out. Good later. We're getting you there, ain't we? Come on. Come on. Come on, old boy. I didn't call you, girl. Come on. Come on, later. Come here. Good, later. Good, later. Good old boy. Good old boy. Let's move you over here. There you go. Are you going to smell that? Yeah. That ain't going to hurt you. Get it right back between the teeth. Weird, ain't it? He got that face just like your daddy, I swear. He hates it too. I ain't never seen a dog that hated it more than him. <laughs> Look at you standing all pretty there. There you go, that's one of them fancy pictures, ain't it? <laughs> Collar's getting a touch tight. Let's adjust that. Yeah, there we go. Now you could have shook in there, old boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to manhandle you. I'm sorry, girl. There you go. There you go. There you go. I know. I know, sweet thing. I know. Good girl. Oh, all right, old man. Well, come on, old boy. Come on, old man. Hey, Sooner, hell yeah, come on. Well, come on. It's just good old soaking wet me. Nothing suspicious here. Come on. I know. Well, here, come on then. Just come on. That's a boy. That's a boy. But he can't help but react to this, so. Yeah, there's that face. You hate that stuff, don't you? <laughs> Give you another shot. Alrighty, let's try another one. Well, that was better than expected. I'm proud of you, old man. I know. Okay. <laughs> Damn, though. That's my puppies. My puppies. 
Oh, that's pretty much it. Good Lord, it's that GoPro strap, stripe thingy. So anyways, a bonus tip, whatever's left over, you take that and put it in a spray rig and go all around the yard, go around your dog pen, whatever. And uh, it just, it, once again, it kills a lot of flea stuff, keeps them at bay. So uh, that's that, that's dog dipping. That's ivermectin and worming all to the same shot right there. It's efficient. Um, and that sun is just almost trying to, like it's another two foot and it'll be over in pine tree. So we done good. But either way, I don't think y'all want to see me going around spraying a bunch of yard or whatever. So either way, y'all have a nice day. We'll see y'all later. Okay, one more thing. <clears throat> you need to clean these syringes and stuff when you get down needles and all. Um, they just last a lot longer. I mean, just get them clean. You ain't got to be scientific about it. I mean, different dogs we're talking about here. But, um... And it says Baron just letting it sit around and whatnot. Just let that sit up dry somewhere. 